Morning folks, welcome along to the vlog. Into the darkness we go until I put the lights on. Right, this morning I have control panels to get off my workbench. And we're going to go ahead and dry hop this neck oil clone. I was going to say New England IPA then, but it's a neck oil clone. So let's just go and have a look at the temps, which is usually a good indicator as to where these beers actually are. So FE1, the beer that we produced earliest last week, is calling for heat now, sat at 16, so he's finished. And then the vacant, 17.6, calling for a little bit of heat, but I know it's had a long weekend, probably finished. And the same with the stout, calling for heat, Nottingham Ale yeast, goes mental, finishes in a couple of three days, probably finished, or at least they're gonna be around 10, 12 or something like that. So we can go ahead and drop dry hop one into the vacant and we can add some Amarillo, Mosaic and Simcoe into the neck oil clone. And it'll be a case of handheld footage today because I've gone and left my tripod in the porch at home. Well that is the beers dry hopped and I've spent the rest of the morning because we're now into the afternoon as you can probably tell by the high sun uh, I've spent the rest of the morning excavating the foundations for this wall that we're going to put in at the end of the beer garden and quite satisfactorily I've unearthed the old foundations for what I suspected was the original boundary wall which uh, which is a pleasant surprise, but it now convinces me that this was the original, the original wall, and uh, I'm basically just reinstating it. So let's start over here. So we've dug out some foundations and what have you, and there's the original wall up with that steel ballard on. Some of these foundations are 18 inches deep, so that should definitely be enough to stop the wall sliding into the canal. And then here, conveniently, we have the brickwork from the original. Can you see that? I know the light's a bit shocking. But this is the, uh, the original sort of block pattern. I, I imagine it might have been at some point uh, either a wall or definitely a foundation to a wall or something like that. And if we just look directly up along the line of the wall, you'll see that right down there, I can't really see on the viewfinder, right down there is the original wall and bingo, straight underneath us. As straight as the crow flies, look at that. So I imagine what's happened is the tree, as it's grown, has pushed that wall out and uh, that's why it's not there anymore but it will be there in a month or two we'll definitely reinstate it i must say as well what a bloody gorgeous day it is to be working on the side of the canal folks it's absolutely stunning so i'm just gonna jump back into the beer garden i've got myself a ham salad sandwich to eat. I'm going to go and get a drink from the pub and uh, I'm going to sit in this lovely sunshine and enjoy my lunch. Ham salad because I think I overdid it a little bit on the weekend with all the fatty stuff maybe. Yeah. 
So I've just been on the phone to a local girl who uh, delivers aggregates, Lucy Usher Aggregates, and uh, I've ordered a ton of 10 mil pea gravel. I'm just coming down here to turn the radio off so you can hear me a bit better. So I've ordered some 10 mil pea gravel and uh, a ton of building sand. Come to a total of 80 quid. A ton of each, 80 quid. I was pricing it up on MKM Building Supplies and it was going to cost me £114 just for the pea gravel alone. It's mental the prices that they want for it. So I've ordered it, but she can't come and tip it until Wednesday. So now that project is again going onto the back burner until we've got uh, until we've got the required ingredients for the cement mix. So I'm going to find myself something else productive to do today. Might be in the pub, in the kitchen, I think. So I spent several more hours upstairs in the kitchen putting all of the stainless steel tables and everything else up there. Um, and it's led us to about seven o'clock in the evening. So the pub's open, so I'm not gonna be doing too much filming in there because there are clients in there. But we'll just go into the kitchen sneakily and uh, have a look what we've done. You getting us a lift? Yeah, we've got you need keys or what I've up. No, uh, yeah, I'm just going to go and uh, quickly show. I've got one. Oh. We'll quickly show the viewers what we've done. Oh, just look how sunny it is, folks. Right, into the kitchen. Well, unfortunately, there is no natural light. So here we are. So what we've got is all this workspace along here, all levelled out as best I can. So double sink, pot wash, overspill, prep area, twin fryers, burner, oven, griddle. And then this side, we've got a three door fridge, which we're unsure about. Gets a little bit of condensation on the outside of it, I'm told, so I don't know what we're going to do about that. A little floating prep area, may not be staying there. Then over here, we've got a glass wash, glass cleaning area, extra prep sink for mainly for for the pub, not for the kitchen. So you can obviously hear in the background we've got customers in. So I'm gonna bugger off home now and uh, go and have a shower and relax for an hour while I edit the vlog. Cheers folks, uh, we'll see you on tomorrow's.